All right, this is gonna be a uh, formative video about the Tapui Low Pro 2. There are many videos of it online, and I just ordered one, got it mounted up on the Rebel, and here's a little walkthrough. So the whole idea behind the Low Pro is low profile. They want it to be as low and as compact as possible. Um, it's actually not shaped evenly, so it has a thicker side, which is about nine inches tall, and a thinner end, which is about seven inches tall. I have it mounted to open towards the rear of the vehicle, so the fatter side is towards the cab. And you can kind of see that two inch slope there. And here's a view underneath. It's held on with these bolts and aluminum brackets. There's an aluminum rail that runs underneath the tent, mounts to the cross beams. Of course, it's a mad quarantine world out there, so I haven't taken it on a trail yet. But she's been around the neighborhood flossing, and it's done fine so far. So in order to get the thing down so low, seven inches on one side, uh, there's some sacrifices had to be made. Um, this be a little lesson on the uh, conservation of matter. Things still exist. So in order to get that size down, not included in that tight packaging, is the rain fly with support beams and the ladder. Packing it down and rolling on the trail, those things will have to be in the bed of the truck somewhere. Life is about trade-offs. We live in a fallen world. So, I wanted the low profile, so I knew I was gonna have to put the ladder somewhere else. Not a big deal. One thing I wanted from the tent, I wanted to make sure that the cover didn't Velcro to the base unit. I wanted a zipper. Um, a lot of them out there offer zippers. Tapui's one of them. Uh, Smitty built, which is a common uh, entry level tent, uses Velcro. And I didn't want Velcro because I knew I would just shred that stuff up. So I got the Tapui, which has the zipper. Uh, it actually has a retention zipper around the front. So the zipper only covers three sides. And on the fourth side, it will fold over. I'll show you what that looks like. We'll start unzipping it now. And separated. final side is retained right there so it doesn't unzip with the rest of it and before we can open it I have to undo these velcro straps here right. these retaining bolts come out right. undo this there we go And with the tent deployed, the cover just kind of hangs down into the bed. All right, the last part is we have to stake out the uh, flat cover of the door. There's poles inside the tent for doing that. see on either end there and there and then in the middle so the rain
rainfly poles go. We're not doing the rainfly tonight. It's supposed to be pretty clear. It's gonna be cold, but we're gonna have a moonlit night, so we'll see how it goes. They do look like a pain in the butt to put up though. So I'm inside the thing right now. I'm laying down and this advertised length is something like 84 inches. I'm 74 inches. I'm 6'2". So it doesn't leave me with a whole lot of room, but it does leave me with room. Oh, and right now, my feet. Feet are hanging out. The heels go in. But since my heels don't stay locked all the time, the toes want to point out. When we zip this thing up, my uh, toes are going to rub up against the corner of the tent. And we see up here. Probably going to have the roof open tonight. And this just rolls up. I think it's held in place by these right here and as you can see they're fastened there I couldn't record because it was a uh, <clears throat> the two-handed effort but now I can zip the screen back up <laughs> and we'll have some cool air tonight but hopefully less condensation here on either side we have two storage patches at least you want to stash your keys or the heater. It comes with a foam mattress here. About an inch and a half, two inches thick. It's pretty firm. I'm a bit of a diva. I'm going to have to put in an uh, inflatable air mattress, probably. Alright, let's see what Athena thinks. And it looks... It looks good for camping. It looks like we can sleep in. Mm -hmm. But we're going to camping in the summer, right? Uh huh. You want to get up there and see what it's like? Yeah. Okay. Wait! I'm so excited! Dad, I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. Yeah. You need the Paw Patrol to help you out? No! Okay. No. I'm going to have to help her out. So we're not in a sleeping bag. What are we in right now? In the tent. We're in a tent. We're in, and, and I love this video so much, and you can give me a thumbs up in this drive. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's the tent? In the back of the truck. That's right, it's in the truck. And it's a R A M Ram. Yeah. I know how to spell it. <laughs> well, you got food on your face. <laughs> All right. Um, I ate a lot today. I ate a chocolate milk and mac and cheese. <laughs> All right, little girl. All right, you ready to get down? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're up in the tent for the night, and uh, I can gonna... already tell this is not going to be the most pleasant sleep of my life, or it'll still be interesting. So I inflated an air mattress, which pushes me up several inches, and it is cutting into the head and leg room. Quite cramped right now. <laughs> oh well, live and learn. Miles gonna do a little reading. All hail, halo. We'll see how. The night's sleep goes. Catch you in the morning. Alright, see ya. Alright, good night. Alright, so it's the next day, the next afternoon, and uh, Miles and I didn't quite finish the night. Uh, we got out of this thing about four in the morning, didn't sleep all that good. It was pretty cold, um, and pretty cold. I couldn't get comfortable. I had a big air mattress in here, and this thing's not built for a big air mattress. I'm going to rethink my approach because this is a smaller size tent. And now I'm using a Climate Static V. It's a single man uh, air mattress. Same amount of comfort, a whole lot less space. And I fit a lot better in the tent with it so far. Laying down, uh, legs all the way elongated, I actually fit. Whereas last night, uh, it was sending me straight out the door of the tent. All right, so what'd you think last night? It was interesting. Interesting, why interesting? It started off okay, then I started getting cold, so he threw this extra blanket on me, and I, w I went to sleep. Then every 15 minutes, the blanket was not on me, and I had to put All it right. on again. Miles wasn't warm enough. We're gonna have to think of a way to warm up the tent. It got pretty cold last night, about 38. 
you know, even in a good sleeping bag, it's getting down there. So we're gonna have to come up with a way to warm up the tent. How were you for comfort? It was interesting. It was Why? Comfort too. What do you mean? This isn't the biggest tent in the world. I mean, Dad takes up a lot of room in that tent, and so do I. There's plenty of room for Miles, but uh, there was enough room for both of us, width-wise in there. Um, but the length-wise, when I had that big uh, air mattress up there, not enough room. Yeah. But there's other options. I've got a little climate camper one. I laid out in that one. Plenty of room for me in there when I use that one. So no more big inflatable air mattress. And to Tapui's credit, <laughs> I don't think anyone uses a big air mattress when doing this kind of thing. I'm also gonna try a memory foam, like a roll out memory foam pad, see which one we like better. It's a little, little cramp for me. Uh, as I've said, it's 84 inches, I'm 74 inches, but- Oh boy. These corners start to take away some of that depth pretty quickly. But on the other hand, it is exactly what I wanted size-wise. It's be a work in progress. Miles and I are gonna hit the, uh, Miles are gonna hit the trail as soon as we can and try again with a little bit different uh, furnishings on the inside. All right, boy, you ready to go? Sure. All right, we're up. Hey, guys. Are you stuck? Yeah. Are you stuck? Yeah. Oh, let me down. You forgive me. Don't be scared. Hey, Dad, I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> 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 <laughs>